It started as a great day. No, a, a super day. Perfect in every way. Well, nigh perfect, really. But pretty good. Somewhere between very good and vigilant. He watches the waking city. His majestic form cutting the crisp morning air. Uh, Tick, would you help me fold these sheets, please? Already, a challenge. Ah, the joys of the mundane. Yeah, you got your end twisted, Tick. <laughs> yes, I see. A choreographic conundrum. <laughs> well, that was a little dancey. You know why supervillains are so unhappy, Arthur? They don't treasure the little things. Quick, no time to lose! Uh, I don't think my wings are dry yet. Can you wiggle your toes, chum? Right, let's go! We've been robbed! Huh, so they heisted the jewels, huh? Oh no, they didn't take any jewels. So they heisted money? No, it's all here. Secret files, heisted! No, wrong again. All right, I give up! They heisted the glass from our window! Ooh, that's new. Hi, how are you? Hey, you in the pumps! I say to you, stop being bad! Uh, Barbara, can I get some help here? My name's not Barbara, and I don't help criminals! Why, just the other day, I was saying to Arthur, the problem with evil is... And at this point, did you notice anything creepy about these women? Well, if memory serves... All right, who threw that? A lot of trouble, Barbara. Aha! So, bad lady, fate has put a dead end to your anarchy dabbling. Come quietly now, miss. <laughs> oh, I. Uh, you got a little something on your face. I. I. Oops. <laughs> And so you chose to come to Captain Sanity's Superhero Sanitarium. I had a coupon. Good, good. Now let's get in there and see what makes you tick. For example, are you, say, in a relationship right now? What? What's that got to do with it? Well, we don't know yet, do we? Just relax. I am a professional. You're just some head in a water cooler. Now you're getting defensive. What the heck happened to you? We're not here to talk about my problems, Tech. We're here to work on yours. <laughs> I shouldn't have left him. You did all you could. <gasps> now, Tick, I'd like you to meet our physical therapist, Taff. Hi, Taff. Uh -huh. The first thing I tell all my patients is, take it easy. It's only in your mind. But that's just it, Doc. My mind has always been my Achilles heel. Well, we have many ways of accessing the unconscious. But I'm a sidekick. I'm supposed to be at his side. 
Arthur, he's with professionals. Well, I guess they can't make it any worse, right? Ah! Look at it, Tim. How bad can it be? You're not scared of silly old Mr. Ant, are you? Yes! Yes, yes. That's it. Work with it. Well, here we are. Wow. I had no idea they were this dug in. of them. We're gonna need some help. I told Deflator Mouse to meet us here with every hero he could find. He's probably afraid of ants, too. Afraid of ants? <sighs> hey, baby, who do you think I am? <laughs> the tick? This is all the heroes you could find? Well, it's such short notice. These people have lives, too, you know. But I did get Sewer Urchin and uh, Fish Boy, Lost Prince of Atlantis. Hello. Hi. Why is he in a kiddie pool? Well, he's got a little bit of a cold, so his mother made me promise we'd keep him wet. Where's the tick? You told my mom the tick would be here. Listen, fish boy, I told your mom a lot of things. Of course, the tick lost it. Oh, yeah. He's in the loony bin. Definitely in the loony bin. Ah. You mean he's crazy? <laughs> crazy like a fox. If I'd have thought of that dodge, I wouldn't be here myself. Look out! <laughs> you must be willing to confront your fear. No. <laughs> oh, no. It's obviously not working. Let's try something else. Grand larceny, conspiracy, destruction of police property. These teams are criminals, Mayor. Well, I understand your position, Doodlehead, but technically, they aren't even dames. They're, well, they're ants, and therefore not subject to our criminal justice system. This is more of a situation for the Department of Sanitation. Those solid waste guys? Oh, come on, Mayor. Let me at them. See, I got my boys working on teeny tiny handcuffs. And you are? Uh, I'm Arthur. Hello. And, uh, we, we are, um... What he means is we're exterminators. Someone called, said you had a, uh, a roach problem. Roaches? Ew! Okay, go ahead. So, uh, you work here every day? Actually, I'm just a temp. Hey, come on. Perhaps your phobia is symbolic. Something to do with your mm, mother? Nope, don't think so. Mm. What about your uncle? Any significance there? Uh, mm -mm, nope. How about your A-U-N-T? Hmm. A-U-N-T. Oh, ant. Oh, ant. 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 I get it. Yes? Nope. Someone else's ant, maybe? Some little gray-haired lady. Hmm. Sorry. Oh! <laughs> I'm your mother, man! No, you're not! You're dead! <laughs> so, what's your plan? First, we find out what they're up to. Then we stop. Yeah, uh, you want to elaborate on that second part? Sanitation, you're on. Go clean up that ant mess. Hold the phone, Herr Mayor. I have the solution to your ant problem. Oh, hello, Professor. Let me put you on hold. Everybody knows that ants are nuts for nougat. Hmm? What? Ants are nuts for nougat. Nuts for nougat, yeah. It is science, Herr Major. On the outskirts of the city, we have constructed the largest candy bar in the world. The ants will be irresistibly drawn to this, this 
creamy treasure. And they will forsake the city to consume it. But what will happen when they finish eating? Well, of course, the chocolate is laced with nitroglycerin. I'm okay. Whoa. You know, when I was a kid, <laughs> I used to fry ants with a magnifying glass. Yeah, very hot, yeah. <laughs> Maybe they want revenge. Uh oh Laugh away, bipeds. Soon the joke will be on you. Fish Prince, he's got legs. Oh, yeah, oh. come on, go. Uh -huh. Yes, oh. very interesting. <laughs> All you ever do is dress taffed up in uh, ridiculous outfits and make him wrestle me. Well, that's our therapeutic modality. Yes. <coughs> Sanity, you're a madman! Mm, patient responds to banana treatment with hostility. Is that bad? No peeking. Ow! Hey! By my calculations, the cost of this candy bar will not put the city into debt. That's my hotline. I better get this call. Excuse me, Professor. Yellow. Blank. I hear you got yourself an ant crisis. It's the National Guard. I'm calling in a preventive airstrike. I'm talking saturation bombing, Mayor. That'll clean up your infestation. But, General, what about the rest of the city? Acceptable losses. You have one hour to evacuate your voters. What? Come on, Mayor. Put some air on that chest. You can't let the enemy walk all over you. Bad apples sink ships. <laughs> Gotta call on the other line. Could be the wife. Hang on. He's going to destroy the city. <sighs> Let me handle this. You're going to handle this? Of course. They're ant women, right? <clears throat> hey, honey. I'm a Scorpio. I like long walks on the beach, good conversation, and spelunking. How about you? Ah! Foolish mammals! We will destroy you all! Ha! Tough talk, baggy pants. Oh, man. <laughs> Escape is impossible. <laughs> oh, very painful. Oh, boy. Oh. You know, I get the feeling we're trapped in a... Uh... Don't say it. Say what? We're trapped in a... Uh, a people farm? People farm! All hail the queen! She's huge! It's the magnifying glass. Attention, humanity. I am Betty, splendid and perfect queen of the ants. We are no longer content to scrounge around your wretched picnics, nibbling at your scraps and crumbs. Neither will we accept your gigantic feet trotting upon our works. Man, she's an uppity ant. Yeah. I hopes. 
probably very high hopes. Your day of reckoning is upon you. You have been judged and found wanting. Prepare for fiery doom. Come on, lady. Wake up and smell the nougat. Smell it. Soon the sun will reach its zenith, and our beam will destroy you all. <laughs> This is not a test. Authorities have issued a citywide alert. Please stay tuned to this station for emergency evacuation instructions. Get out of the city! General, I beg you to reconsider. Don't fire your missile! Sorry. Got it aimed and everything. Don't forget your toothbrush, soldier. Ah, I love this job. Well, Doodlehead, looks pretty bleak. On the one hand, we've got a bunch of bitter ants trying to fry us. On the other hand, we've got our own National Guard ready to blow us to kingdom come. Maybe... Maybe we should call... a tick. When I count to three, you will enter a hypnotic trance. Yes, master. Not yet. Oh, okay. Three, two, one. You are going back, back. What do you remember? Well, I remember you hypnotizing me. Oh, for Pete's sake. Sanity here. What's your problem? I'm sorry, Mayor, but I'm afraid he's a little fragile right now. He's in the middle of therapy. You know, maybe you ought to drop by the office, Mayor. We're having a special on stress management. All right. All right. It's for you. Oh, hey, Mayor. What's up? What? I gotta save the city! But what about your phobia? No time, Doc! Spoon! I'll put him down for Thursdays. Spoon! The sun is almost at its peak! Ah, of course we're definitely done for. Yeah, definitely. Why do you have to always keep saying that word? Definitely, definitely. You're driving everyone crazy! Arthur, take it easy. Ha, ah, definitely very loud. Not everything's definite, you know. That's it. Flee while you can, pathetic apes. <laughs> you look so tiny from up here. Ugh, hotness. Not a moment to lose. <laughs> Tick! Stop right there, blue boy. I am Betty, queen of the ants, and I demand your surrender! Uh, could you flip a feeler or something? Never mind that. You have trespassed against us. Prepare for your doom! Whoa! Oh, boy! Oh. Arthur? The magnifying glass! That'll be just about enough of that! But I've got a big heat seeking fish to fry! I'm not afraid of ants. I never was. It's just when they all come running out of a lady's pants like that. Eww. Creepy. And isn't sanity really just a one-trick pony anyway? I mean, all you get is one trick. Rational thinking. But when you're good and crazy, <laughs> the sky's the limit! <laughs> 